Hey guys, so now we know what the Galaxy Note 8 will look like and it's pretty funny. I actually made a video last year, even before the release of S8. I showed you guys this, not knowing that this will end up being the real deal. Maybe Samsung watched this video and got inspired and if that's the case then I would like to kill myself knowing that I'm responsible for this disaster is too much for me to bear. But seriously this ain't even that bad. There were a lot of confusion around the previous leak. First off this is a CAD drawing so you can't expect to be 100% on point. We have seen it with the LG G6. The actual final thing will be much better looking than this. We have a camera bump on the back and this got a lot of attention. Casey Neistat also didn't like it. All Neeks, the man behind this, responded on a Twitter post saying that the details can change prior to the launch, fingers crossed. I personally don't think that it will have this camera bump, at least with the latest leak renders in the wild. So first off, these came out today via Elixir. This case maker is on fire. Recently they showed us uh, the iPhone 8 and now Note 8. You can see no sign of the camera bump on the back and it's looking pretty okay. Some more renders incoming via slash leaks showcasing the same new design. Obviously the display will be infinity just like the Galaxy SA family so uh, this is again a flaw on this drawing and you should not get confused about that. Enough about this, let's discuss what has been down over the past few days. MWC Shanghai 2017 took place and a lot has happened there. Samsung has announced their own ISOCELL dual camera image sensor which confirms that dual camera will be coming with the noted even though we knew this since 2016. So, no doubt about that now. A new report on Sam Mobile says great things are coming with the new dual camera. According to an insider, the Note 8 dual camera will offer better image quality and better background defocus. Yes, background defocus, aka portrait mode, than any phone that has it currently, which includes OnePlus 5, iPhone 7 Plus, and many more. Guys, you know I'm a big fan of portrait mode. I love the DSLR kind of images that you can do with the phones because this gives you a freedom of not carrying that heavy camera. Instead, just take out your smartphone and boom. So big hopes for Samsung's defocus mode. Both sensors are coming at 13 megapixel resolution with independent optical image stabilization, meaning both sensors will have OIS for smooth video recording at all resolution 4K, 2K, 1080p, 1080p at 60fps. F1.7 and F2.0 aperture has also been mentioned for the sensors. Also, the Galaxy S8 has been named the best smartphone of 2017 at MWC Shanghai. It's the award based on wide array of criteria ranging from physical design and user experience to performance, simplicity of use, value for money, and innovation. Guys, what can I say? It's the best looking phone right now. Just look at it how good this phone is i mean it's just truly amazing i wouldn't mind having the same resolution on the note 8 because it's still the best and no one is close best in the world when it comes to the display there's a reason why samsung is making displays for your next iphone 8. So yeah, that's all the news for the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. The dual cameras are looking promising. Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.